looking at rain already working its way across Northern California. We've had a few sprinkles and spots around our area today, but it's going to get a little bit more widespread, at least in the mountains, as we go through tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Currently, we're at 68 degrees in Sacramento. Lots of cloud cover. The winds are starting to pick up. Look at the southwest wind blowing at 16 miles per hour. You know something's happening when you have the winds picking up from the south in Sacramento. Also, other locations like Stockton has a west wind blowing at 20 miles per hour. Strong onshore push as this weather system approaches. Current temperature is 71 degrees with lots of cloud cover overhead. Modesto, 72 degrees with clouds on the increase and northwest winds blowing at 10 miles per hour. In Fairfield, a lot of cloud cover, 66 degrees. Your temperature with a southwest wind blowing at 20 miles per hour. Expect to have conditions that are going to be uh, again picking up elsewhere in the Sierra with southwest winds blowing at 11 miles. Per hour. Current temperature is 52 degrees around Lake Tahoe, and it's looking rather ominous with those dark clouds making their way across the Sierra. We're going to be seeing a few little flurries and showers and a little bit of snow around the lake as we head into tomorrow morning. Right now, speaking of the lake, we have, well, we have Lakeport and Clear Lake right here in Lake County. Lots of lakes to talk about. As we can see, that shower activity working its way across Mendocino County through Ukiah and then cutting across Lake County and heading on towards the valley. As we slide a little bit farther north, again, most of the activity is staying well to the north. You can see near Corridor. In Orland, where we've had some rain working our way towards Red Bluff, where we had a thunderstorm work its way right over Red Bluff. And then, really, Redding is when the bullseye is where we've seen some of the heaviest rainfall, lots of lightning strikes, and even some hail. That's a little bit of purple that's showing up with that thunderstorm. So, again, some fairly extreme weather that's going on to the north while it's just kind of picking up with the winds and the cloud cover here in through the central portion of the valley and uh, working our way south. So, activity in the Sierra is going to be picking up future cast shows, the showers. It's going to become a little bit more widespread as we go through the overnight hours. Here we are Monday morning, 1.30 a.m. We're looking at snow levels at that point getting down closer to 5,000 feet. And you can see the bulk of the rain is going to stay in the mountains. We'll see a few showers here in the valley. Accumulations very light. We'll see things picking up again around 9 a.m. So if you have travel plans over the mountains, you may want to wait a little bit or go a little bit earlier because there could be chain controls through Monday morning. But then things kind of gone. We are looking at a few showers along the coastal mountains. And that's really about it as we head through Tuesday and into Wednesday. So forecast temperatures. Daytime highs tomorrow in the 40s for trucking in Lake Tahoe. That chance for some snow. Again, we're looking at several inches. Anywhere from 2 to 4 inches at lake level. 62 in Grass and Jackson and Angels Camp. 64 degrees. San Francisco 63. 67 in Napa with a chance for some morning showers. Again, most of the rain chances will be in the morning. And then we'll see some clearing in the afternoon, allowing temperatures to warm into the lower 70s through Woodland and Sacramento and 69 degrees in Roseville. Seven-day forecast shows those clearing skies. Again, our little cool down that we've had will not last long as temperatures will be climbing back into the upper 70s to lower 80s by Wednesday and Thursday.